Friday, May 26, 2017, and today is an A-Day, and this is K&N. Today, for your dining pleasure, you will enjoy baked potato bar, cheese or pepperoni pizza, manager's choice entree, steamed broccoli, manager's choice vegetable, manager's choice fruit, and Florida citrus. Boy, that's a lot of choice. Please don't forget to get all Media Center books torn in by the end of the day. Lost books should be paid for by this time. Don't miss out on fun end of the year activities due to missing library books. All 8th grade news members, please report to the newsroom first thing Tuesday morning. Attention 7th and 8th grade IV students, there is a culture bulletin board outside of Mr. Satink's room that is waiting to be filled. Please read the instructions on the board and bring in anything that relates to your culture and submit it in the folder that is attached. All material will be reviewed by the teachers before it is posted. Thank you. Any 8th grader interested in playing football at Central Cabarrus High School next year is invited to meet with Coach McClamrock at 3.30 today in the cafeteria. That's all the announcements for the news today. Please stay tuned for a word from Mrs. Bullock. Good morning, Noble Knights. Happy Friday to you. In just a little bit, I know we're going to be starting the tutorial. Uh, please know that uh, it has been brought to our attention that some of our STEM students uh, arrived today without their Chromebooks and their homeroom teacher may not have enough extras. Homeroom teachers, if you find yourself in that situation, please send those students to Camelot to complete the tutorial. We will have some adults ready to guide them through that. Again, STEM classrooms without enough devices send students to Camelot for the tutorial this morning. I also want to remind you that Monday is our Memorial Day holiday and we will not be in school here but I just want to always remind you why we take a moment to observe Memorial Day. That's to honor those folks that have died while serving in our military. So please make sure that we don't look at that as just another day off from school that we really take some time um, on Monday or this weekend to observe the sacrifices that have been made for our freedoms. And lastly, uh, I want to bring our Noble Knight family some really good news. And pardon me while I read a little bit of this, but uh, many of you participated with us, particularly our 7th and 8th graders last year, as we were supporting one of our very own Noble Knights uh, that was battling cancer. Many of you remember our friend Noah Monroe. He was an 8th grader at J.M. Freeze last year. Uh, and he received test results yesterday that his cancer is gone. And so I wanted our family to be able to celebrate that together this morning. Noah has fought very hard for the past 14 months with bravery, toughness, perseverance, and a sense of humor. He is a hero and an inspiration to so many. Noah will continue to have monthly checkups for the next three months and repeat his scans every three months for the next year. But keep Noah and his family in your thoughts for the next year as we are hoping that those clear results continue. Um, Noah's family wanted to say a big thank you to the Noble Knight family for our support, particularly those of you that have participated in the cancer fundraising awareness and just the all-around prayers and supports that we have offered for that family. So I wanted to share that good news for you. Make it a great day or not. Hold on. We're not going to make it a great day just yet. Hold on. There's another announcement. Something about the fact that... Students that missed the video yesterday, you need to go to the media center. And we're assuming you know what that means. So, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. <laughs> 